my new novel, Into the Water, is a novel of psychological suspense and it's all about what happens when you discover that the stories you've been telling about yourself and your family turn out not to be true. Getting inside your characters' heads is not always a simple thing and it does require total immersion, I think. So I like to spend I like to spend time with my characters. I like to live with them for a while and to sort of feel like I'm walking around in their skin. And in this novel, Into the Water, I have a huge cast of characters. So it was it was quite a complex um, enterprise. Uh, telling the story from so many different viewpoints was liberating. It had it had challenges, obviously, I had to, 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 to imagine all these different characters and how, how they would think and how they would speak. But it was also, it's also a, a great way of telling a story to be able to look at all these events from a whole range of different, of different um, viewpoints. So it, it's a really interesting, if challenging way of, of telling a, a story. I think my favorite character in Into the Water is Nikki Sage who's um, an older lady and she claims to be able to talk to the dead um, and she's she's quite funny um, and you know there's not that much you know this is a, a book about murder so there's not much that much levity in there but um, Nikki's in there and she's quite wise and she's quite canny um, and I like her sort of quite cynical take on things. I've chosen to locate this book in a town called Beckford which is a fictional Beckford that exists in in Northumberland, but it's it's my Northumberland. It's a slightly imaginary Northumberland, but I did want to set it in. I wanted to set this book in a a small community, and I wanted it, it to feel um, quite an isolated community. Now, Northumberland is the least populous county in England. It's very beautiful. It's but it has quite a bleak beauty, and so that that sort of informed that that fit the story really well. I, I always have to know the ending of a novel before I start writing it. Um, I need to know a point that I'm aiming for. I don't, what I don't need to know is everything that happens on the way there. So I do plan, but um, what I sort of do is sketch out the bones of the story. I don't, and then, then all the flesh sort of comes in as we're going through. Um, but yes, I, I had to know who done it because otherwise I wouldn't be able to, to construct all the twists properly. I'm not a big researcher when it comes to writing novels. Most of it, of what I write comes from imagination and observation. Um, I did, um, I sort of drew inspiration from, from the work of Oliver Sacks, who writes about memory and um, memories of childhood, which is a, is a big theme in the book. So I, 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 read, I read some of what he's written about it and, and some other people. But generally, I'm, I'm, not, I'm a bit lazy when it comes to research. I prefer to just make things up. Memory fascinates me, the way we, the way we um, all of us, we obviously we rely on our memories. Our memories go to form, to inform the people we become. And what I'm interested in, particularly in this book, is the way that memory, we can cling to memories from childhood, which we trust completely, we trust implicitly, and yet we can discover in adulthood that, that those things we're remembering didn't actually happen the way we thought they did. Um, so we, we rely on these things and then we discover later in life that, that actually the, those sands are shifting, that, that you know, we are not perhaps built on as solid foundations as we believed. Water is essential to the book. Um, I, I wanted to, to, to build my fictional town around a river. Um, I think we all have a relationship to water, a lot of us. Um, will have spent childhood holidays at a lake or by the sea or so I think we all have very strong connections to bodies of water for most of us that's going to be a joyful thing because we remember happy happy holidays for anyone who's ever had a, a bad experience water can be completely terrifying and I think so I think that's what I was interested in and I've written about two characters one of whom who loves the water and one of whom is phobic and it's that so the river is one of the things that divides my characters